and the flow is turned down to a minimal. So it's actually a good time to give a quick top-down view. Yeah, I spoke too soon. Water's turning back on. But for a quick one, I did have some issues a little while ago where I lost a bunch of SPS frags, which was a little depressing. So I've been slowly adding stuff in. Uh, just the past week, I guess a couple new ones. That would be the pink bird's nest. Uh, my anemone bubble tip decided to climb up from the side of the rock all the way to the top after six months of being there. There's a little mini forest of Porcillopora. Some frags I got from a buddy the other day when we did a tank move. I got a nice teal acro. A purple or a golden plume bush, kind of a gorgonian. That's a green slimer. And today I picked up this lovely, I think it's a candle bra. Candle bra, whatever it's called. Gorgonian, so it's a pretty cool looking one. I really like that one back there. As for other new stuff, I don't think there's much new in terms of fish. They've been fairly standard for a while now. My only really issue is my poor yellow tang has these orange blotches on them. I don't quite know why. I've read it can be from a bacterial infection. And I've also read it could potentially be from overdosing carbon. And I have not vodka dosing, so it may or may not be related. So I'm really hoping it clears up. There's no bumps or anything, it's just discoloration. So I cut my vodka way back, so I'm hoping in a week or two it will clear up. Aside from that, it takes a little noisy until the water flow kicks back in. Speaking of which, I've been playing with the Apex lately, and I've done a bunch of cool automation. When I open the stand, it lights up inside. When I hit feed mode, it turns off my pump, my skimmer, turns off the gyri, turns the way or the MP40s down to 5% for 5 minutes. And after 5 minutes, it turns the pump on, turns the MP40s back on nutrient transport mode. Five minutes later, the CP40 kicks on, my skimmer kicks on. So I've been doing all kinds of like macro-y type automation, which has been kind of fun. So yeah, that's about my newest excitement. Gave the lights a good dusting and cleaning the other day. Got rid of any of the dust and salt creep and all the random spots around my tank. are all nice and shiny again. I um, added a fan here. I'm uh, just experimenting if adding fresh air to the sump increases pH. No conclusive evidence on that one yet, so that's jury still out. I've been playing with the calcium reactor. One of my goals, for whatever reason, has been to raise my pH. I've been struggling with keeping my pH or getting it above 8 recently. So what I've done so far is the output of the calcium reactor, I made a second chamber for it. So the fluent goes into the second chamber. Um, I should be using smaller rocks, but I had a bucket of these laying around, so I used it. So it goes into there, there's a, a clear acrylic tube that pushes the, the fluid all the way to the bottom. That's to percolate back up, and then it comes out of there and goes into a drip cup. So I just added this little ball valve so I can fine tune the output more, because I found that guy a little too finicky. And I also added one of those limewood air stones, which has made a big difference. It raised my, from the mixture of that little add-on, and then the drip cup, and then the air stone in the fluid, it raised my pH almost a full point. So uh, from 6 point something to 7 point something on the calcium reactor. So I think that's going to help boost the pH. The other thing that's kind of keeping it low I think is vodka dosing. So I am dosing vodka. Um, it was higher. I was up to 6 mils but I cut it way back since I saw those orange blotches on the yellow tang. So I think I'm only at 1.8 mils a day right now. Um, I've also with the calcium reactor. My tank's using a lot more alkalinity. So I'm dosing 30 and I think I'm down to 26 mils of alkalinity at night. And that's been keeping my almost rock solid it's within about 0.2, so I've been slowly tweaking it, but it's almost there. Aside from that, no other real exciting updates. The tank's becoming more stable again. Cleared out a bunch of my coral skeletons the other day, it was kind of sad. And replacing with some new ones. So yeah, let's put a quick update on the 6 foot shallow reef. Hope you guys are liking it. And any questions, feel free to ask. Cheers.